I had the vegan Impossible Burger the other day. Oh my God, amazing. Here's the twist. Tastes just like a regular hamburger, but it's the price of two hamburgers. <laughs> and guilt-free. Plus, you can get any topping you like. I went for bacon and foie gras. Because <laughs> that, of course, is the answer. We should all be going vegan. My uh, flatmate, uh, Hugo, recently, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Hugo, <laughs> I'm just a normal guy. No, the Hugster, he's great. Um, he, um, he lives in the East Wing, and... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, he's a vegan, but here's the thing. He didn't want to call himself a vegan because he was worried that some of his friends might give him <laughs> So, instead of calling himself a vegan, Hugo decided that he was going to identify as, get ready for it, because it is a humdinger, plant positive. <laughs> oh, nice work, Hugo. <laughs> Successfully sidestepped the <laughs> bullet there, didn't we? And it's now literally every other word out of his mouth. He's like, Jack, you can make as many jokes as you like about me being plant positive. I am going to live 10 years longer than you. <laughs> yeah, not if you keep calling yourself plant positive around me. <laughs> I will smother you in your sleep. <laughs> Actually, I won't even need to smother you now. <laughs> You're a vegan. I'll just place the cushion on your face. You'll be too weak to lift it off. <laughs> You're suffocating me. Nope, just making you oxygen negative. <laughs> it's not good crying over spilt nut juice. <laughs> Where are the vegans at? We got vegans in? Okay, wow, an army of them, oh dear. <laughs> You're gonna get booed off stage in a hail of tofu. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, honestly, I am. I come in peace, okay? I don't want any beef, and quite frankly, neither do you. <laughs> it's vegan bashing, that's what that was. And it is, excuse the pun, low-hanging fruit. Because, look, there is no denying your life choice, 100% better for you, better for the world. I also know why human beings have a pop at vegans. It's a very simple human instinct. As human beings, we basically just can't bear anyone else that has exercised any degree of self-control. And you all f***ing do it. Doesn't matter what that self-control is. Someone that's become a vegan. Someone that's given up drinking. Someone that's running a marathon. Someone that has started cycling to work. Your mouth goes, oh, good for you. And your head goes, Because we don't want people hashtag living their best life. We want them hashtag living a slightly shittier life than us so we can feel better about our pathetic existence. <laughs> That's why all those get wound up by Greta Thunberg. I mean, talk about living your best life. She has put the entire world to shame. That girl is a boss. She is a child, yes! <laughs> She's a child and she has raised a global climate change revolution. When I was a child, I couldn't raise a Tamagotchi. <laughs> She's there at the UN telling them we need to save the planet through radical action. I was like, mommy, it's making a funny noise and asking me to feed it. What do I do? Just send it to boarding school. We also have no excuse now as well. It's never been easier to be a better citizen of the world. I was in the supermarket recently. Not Waitrose or Whole Foods before you start judging me. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm not doing Waitrose jokes. I've been told to cut them out. This is real. After my last term, my manager took me aside and said, Jack, your, um, your reference points are a little unrelatable. <laughs> if you ever want to be a comedian that's, you know, a man of the people, cut out the Waitrose stuff. So, understood? <laughs> because I'm a normal guy. <laughs> so the other day, I was in the supermarket, my favourite, the Lidl. <laughs> or when I'm in the States, Walmart. <laughs> I saw a sign in the supermarket, though, for Veganuary. That is a great idea. Giving up meat for a month, all on board with that. But why January? On behalf of everyone, can I please say, people need to back the f*** off January. 
We already have dry January. Now we have veganuary. Newsflash, January, already the shit month of the year. <laughs> that is not the month you should be giving up vices. If anything, that is the month you should be finding new ones for. <laughs> oh, Jack, are you giving up booze and meat for January? Nope, but I will be taking up heroin. <laughs> yeah, the month flies by and that Christmas weight just drops off. Who's with me? 2021, smack your ear.